Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brennan Martin here, and this is part four of WD13 Attitude Error Mode. As this time, we are going to go into the great one. So here we go. We're skipping that. Don't get claimed for copyright. And and if you haven't seen the last part of WWE 13 Attitude Error Mode. For the last, okay, November 2nd, 1998, The Rock vs. Ken Shamrock, Houston, Texas. The meteoric rise of The Rock to the People's Champion was put in limbo this night as Mr. McMahon shifted his attention to the self proclaimed Great One. The Rock's quest to, for his first WWE Championship was riding on this one match against Ken Shamrock. If he wins the Intercontinental Championship, he gains entry into the Survivor Series Tournament for the WWE Championship. Get Shamrock's damage to moderate. Get Shamrock's damage to moderate in two minutes. Alright, here we go. Defends the Intercontinental Championship and it will go one on one against this man who will come out in just a few seconds. I would highly suggest you go check out the last part. I forgot to mention that. That's okay. Part, you may notice though, we got The Rock is going after that Intercontinental Championship. And if he becomes the Intercontinental Champion, he'll gain entry into the Survivor Series match, that tournament for the uh, WWE ch for WWF Championship. But anyway, here we go. As we got The Rock. This is the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Here we go. He's about to go down. Here we go. There it is, Intercontinental Championship on the line. Shamrock, Rock, let's go. He's got to beat Shamrock for the title. And you know the only uh, way a title mm. changes his hands is by pinfall or submission. Everything The Rock has worked for, and he earned his way into the Deadly Game Tournament at Survivor Series, is on the line here tonight. Well, I was about to say earlier that The Rock being the number one contender would have earned him a first-round bye at the Survivor Series Tournament. Now, he might not even be in it. Well, The Rock's popularity may have just cost him, as far as the evil Mr. McMahon's concerned. Man, DDT right on his face! Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Here we go. He might have broke his neck with that DDT. Let me say this. 
When you open no. the only game, the eyebrow right and the rut nails the spine buster. And it's time for the most the electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. Here we go. People's elbow. He's getting out of there. <laughs> Referee calling for the bell, and rightfully so. You are disqualified. Yeah. You can't believe it. Well. That means. Oh no! A disqualification does the rock no good. He didn't win the title. The rock's not going to make it to Survivor Series. Yes, he will, and for he will definitely. But let's move on to the next event. We'll have. November 9, 1998, Dallas, Texas, Rock vs. Mark Henry, People's Champion The Rock was reaching new levels to popularity. Mr. McMahon wanted to quickly put an end to it, his time opportunities, and The Rock's career. But the Brahma Bull had different plans that would end up laying a little smackdown on Mr. McMahon. When the match performed the Rock Bomb on Mark Henry, performed the People's Elbow on Mark Henry, when the match in four minutes. Here we go. We're glad that you could be with us tonight. And for those of you that didn't catch it, last night on Eat, the bombshell was laid down by Mr. McMahon. If The Rock can defeat the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, he gets back into the Deadly Games Tournament. Yeah, but if he loses, he's not only out of the tournament, he's out of a job. And then, I'm going to wonder what the people are going to do when he's out of work. Well, we all know one man who'll be happy if that happens. And he's sitting out here at ringside to watch this match. Yep, there he is. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And here we used to be a member of the Nation of Dominic. He's now the member of the Nation of Dominic. at that time. Something to say to the rock. 
So folks, buckle up the seatbelts and grab the popcorns and grab a drink. Here we go folks, rock, Mark Henry, let's do it. I'm going to fix the camera, but there we go. It's all on the line, Rock's job, not to mention his place back in the Deadly Game Tournament. And the Rock's going to try to make it short work of the world's strongest man, the 400-pound Mark Henry. Well, I think in the Rock's condition, that's the only chance he's got. I mean, he's been busted in the back of his head. If he doesn't get this over fast, he won't last. Yeah, jeez. Oh, the Herculean strength of Mark Henry. What's he up to here? Back into the ring now. Big right hand. What? What the oh, hell is Big Boston doing here? The DDT. A shot. Bulldog headlock. Face first to the floor. The Rock just can't get the momentum to swing his way. Ah, jeez. Come on, don't do it again. Oh, no. He's on the move again. My, my, my. Look at the athleticism. The power. Jeez. Oh, man. What a neck breaker. I can smell what he. And the rock nails the spine buster. Yes. I love it when the rock does this. You got, I gotta hurry and I gotta perform the rock button. That's what I'm gonna do next. People's elbow! Mm. I gotta do a little ton a little bit. Here's another one. Let's go. One more. Back bottom time. It's over. He's given everything he's got to win this one. Yes, got it. That worked. Oh boy, here we go. Must have found an all sports entertainment. People's all ball, McMahon. Oh. Yep, Rock will pick up the win, of course. I don't like to see that match again. I know that for sure. But, but anyway, let's move on to the next one. Excuse me. November 15th, 1998. The Rock versus the Big Boss Man, St. Louis, Missouri. Survivor Series. To find a to find a home for the vacant WWE Championship, Mr. McMahon scheduled the scheduled Deadly Game Tournament to occur the at Survivor Series. Thirteen of the top superstars in the WWE entered the tournament, including the People's Champion, a superstar that McMahon was starting to take a special interest in. When the match, when the match in one minute, when light or less damage. Do you smell what the rock is Welcome everyone to 
to the Cook Annual Survivor Series. And it will be a deadly game here tonight. Over 20,000 fans have sold out this magnificent facility in St. Louis, Missouri, in anticipation for seeing a new WWE Champion crown. Oh, and without a doubt, it's going to happen tonight. Mr. McMahon has guaranteed it. Yep, there he is. There we are. Coming out, of course. As you recommend, though, we'll go one on one with this individual. You'll we'll come out in just about 10 seconds or so. We'll see what happens. We'll know who we'll be facing. You already mentioned his name. Would be this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. McMahon himself did the pairing for this single elimination tournament. It will only be winners advancing. And again, it has been guaranteed that a new champion will be crowned here tonight at the Survivor Series. Yep, there he is. We got the big boss man coming into the ring. We go one on one against uh, the Rock. Here we go. Let's do it. Rock versus Big Boss Man. Let's go. Here we go with this first round matchup between the Rock. And Mr. McMahon's issue, the big boss. Rock oh, here we go. Up. Right about him. Slams him down hard. With a wrong He's got his shoulders planted to the mat. Two. Here's three. The Rock wins. Yes. Oh, yeah. Can you smell what the Rock has cooked up for the big boss man? How do you like that, Mr. McMahon? You know that's not fair. Bossman wasn't even ready. Hey, Mr. McMahon, The Rock told me to tell you that he just beat your henchman in about a minute. Oh, uh, Mr. McMahon's not going to be very happy about this. Yep, he Rock gets the win in under a minute. <laughs> oh, my Lord. 15 or close to 20 seconds. <laughs> oh my lord, that's funny. Anyway, we're gonna go on to the next one. Let's go. November 15th, 1998, The Rock vs. Ken Shamrock in Lewis, Missouri. After quickly disposing of Big Boss Man, The Rock went on to face his longtime nemesis, Ken Shamrock, and while Shamrock posed a greater challenge, the Great One remained undeterred. When the match exceeded a WWE attitude moment, performed the People's Level on Shamrock, win by pinfall in eight minutes or less. was on Raw. Do you smell what the rock is thinking? Yep, there it is. The rock himself has defeated the big boss man 
to come in out of the tournament as the Rock and Bond. And he'll get to face his longtime nemesis since, you know, since he was a member of the Nation Domination at that time. And of uh, the one and only the world's most dangerous man and Shamrock. Last time he they faced off the tunnel was at Raw. And it's for that in the tunnel. But with Rock didn't win the Intercontinental Tower, he wasn't in that uh, the year's tournament. But now, I think he's beating Mark Kenny with the next week. The next week of Raw, he's in the Deadly Games tournament. But anyway, let's do it. Here we go. Both men want to win this match as soon as possible. They'll need to save their energy to defeat The Undertaker in the semifinals. Well, I'll tell you this, if you're The Rock, even though you're on the offensive, you always have to be thinking defensively. You do not want to let yourself get caught in that ankle lock submission hold, and that move can come from anywhere at any time. Mm. Ken Shamrock is hurting after that. Oh, man, what impact from that suplex. Here's the body prick, Rock. Easily gets out. 
I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. The Brahma Bull is all fired up. Hey, he's going. He's turning it up out there. Rock has him up. And it is over. He's going for the break count. Two. The Rock did it. The Rock wins. And The Rock, despite the interference, will advance. And McMahon has to be livid. It looks as if McMahon assigned the boss man to take out The Rock to make sure The Rock did not advance. I'll tell you this. Big boss man can say goodbye to his rear end. Because he won't have one after Mr. McMahon gets through chewing it. The boss man was tossing the nightstick, apparently, the shamrock. But the rock got in the way of the pass. So now, the rock moves on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, boss match again. All right. November 15, 1998, Undertaker vs. Kane, same same place. In the Deadly Game Tournament, Mr. McMahon awarded Kane and Undertaker first round buys, so the brothers would face and possibly destroy each other. In the quarterfinals, Undertaker now reunited with Paul Bearer, was more sinister than ever, and he was hell bent on recapturing the WWE Championship. Got hit the Tombstone Pilot Driver and pin Kane in 10 seconds. Alright. That's fine. Here we go. Said, let's go. 
All right, here we go. Let's do it. And this is going to be a nasty match. There's no doubt about it, folks. Not a catch-as-catch-can classic with two big seven-foot, 300-pounders. They're going to pound and pound on each other. You know, I'm not even sure if Kane wants to win the championship. He might be way more focused on simply beating on his brother. A nice neck breaker. Now that's the kind of hit that can put you in the hospital. Scoop slam! Huge power move! Oh mm. man, what a neck breaker! And the oh, monster reverses it! Ain't that wrong. Way Turn too around, please. To there you go. Kane in trouble here. Oh man, how do you beat an opponent that can do that to you? Undertaker has him right where he wants. Oh man, gosh, the power. Big opening Ooh, DDT. man. DDT right on his face. Nice DDT that time by uh, Undertaker. Relentless. And power up. Oh my god, that is a vicious power ball. Whoa, whoa, he's dropping from the sky. Well, what's he going to do to follow that up? Old school time. Whoa. Undertaker may be thinking old school. He is. Well. You want to do this, but it is over. Hey, if the winner can somehow advance in one piece, King, we might be looking at the next champion. So I'm going to have to say that if the mm -hmm. Undertaker advances, he's going to be my new. Wow, well, I'm glad I'm not in there with Taker. How did we kick down that? The dead man with a pulse oh, no. can feel the oh, momentum man. swinging his way. Too fast, my butt. Oh my God. Ow! Out. Kane with a that's some baloney. And he scratched with a foot kick. Ah, jeez. Ah, uh, come on. Is. This is some BS. I can only imagine the force behind those shots from the dead man. Not mm. where you want to mm. be with the dead man. Oh. It's because of moves like that, with that dominating strength, why Undertaker's considered a phenom. Undertaker's thinking well, about it again. It's over this time. This time it's over. Oh you better not kick out of that second man. I dare you. It's gotta be old. He's got his shoulders planted. There we go. That's the better. Undertaker did it. There's my new pick, JR. That's your new WWE champion. Well, that could very well be. Either way, Undertaker will be facing The Rock in the semifinals of this tournament. Yep, Undertaker picks up the win. And we move on from there, and sorry for the camera blurring up again, so apologize for that. And it always does that to me, so... just I just wanted just to say it for everyone, I wanted to apologize for blurring the camera in advance for that, but it's okay. Let's go on to the next one. November 15, 1998, The Rock vs. Undertaker, same place. And the other semi-final match... So, so close Steve Austin lost to Mankind after being robbed of a victory by the corporation. 
That the interference caused Stone Cold to chase the corporation out of the arena. And while mankind seemed to be Mr. McMahon's chosen champion, the, the WWE chairman let it be known that he just as soon see Undertaker and The Rock just excuse me destroy each other. When the, the match and perform the people's elbow on Undertaker. There we go. The Undertaker, who defeated his brother King, to move on to that semi-final match. As we have, you know, we already know that Undertaker and King had their first round buys. So, meaning though is this. Let me just say for the record, Undertaker wants to become champion again. But we'll see on that as well. So you may notice we'll go one on one with the man who'll come out in just about a few seconds. There we go. Do you smell what the rock is Yep, there he is, the Rock himself, as he defeated the big boss man in less than about, let's just say about close to 20 seconds. Also, he defeated Ken Shamrock. Now, he has his toughest, toughest challenge he'll have to face. It is going to be that one man called The Undertaker. Which we have, of course, already mentioned this, we have this one by the came, faced each other off, and beat his brother Kane. Now, of course, Undertaker's in, in the semifinals against this man right here of The Rock. The Muscle. Let my man all sports entertainment. Here we go. Let's do it. The Rock and The Undertaker. One of these two men will meet mankind in the finals of the Deadly Game Tournament to determine a new champion. Well, I think that Mr. McMahon could probably deal one way or the other with The Undertaker if he were champion. I think he probably feels like he can negotiate with him. Yeah, because McMahon has a lot in common with Paul Bear. Same kind of ethics. Now he knows he can deal with mankind as the champion. Well, that's obvious, King. Now he's just counting that the Undertaker and should be able to put the rock thanks. away. Mankind's been relegated to no more than and village idiot. Nope. Here from the like that. relations <laughs> of Mr. McMahon. Can't blame that was not going to work like that there, Rock, I'll take her. Taking advantage. Uh, what kind of celebration uh, do you think is going on in Mr. McMahon's limousine right now? Do you think they popped the cork on a cold one? I mean, it's got to be party time. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's very jubilant. <laughs> and when the word comes, you know they've got telephones in Mr. McMahon's limousine. They'll phone him with the results. Oh, they call it. Oh, nope, that was not going to work. 
That was not gonna work. Nope, that was not gonna work like that. I'm trying to drag. No one does it better than the rock. And he hits the DDT. Undertaker's uh -oh. busted open. The Undertaker's been busted open. Strategizes that one well. The Russian leg sweep. He misjudged the range on that one. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, crap, all up. Oh, 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 and he's getting out of there. Whoa! Watch out! Bonus match again. We have no Let's uh, skip that one. Don't want to get claimed for copyright, of course. You didn't see anything like that, WWE. You didn't see a damn thing. But anyway, same date, same place. Rock vs. Mankind. The stage has been set for two men, both yearning for their first WWE Championship. It had appeared as if Mr. McMahon's chosen one, Mankind, was in the perfect position for the win. However, a surprise ending and unlikely alliance changed the course of the WWE for months to come. Alright. Thing as this is it, the WWE Championship, and boy, things will turn into a swerve. 
but we'll see. Bingo. Here we go. Rock versus Mankind. And we're up again, so yet again, like I said, apologize for that. Probably need to get a better camera, but put out of there. Anyway, here we go. Let's do it. Anyway, let's go. Rock vs. Mankind. Well, here we are. I don't think The Rock is aware that Mr. McMahon is back here. And of course, Mankind probably wouldn't be aware if he knew. Huh? Poor old Mick. Bless his deranged heart. You have to wonder sometimes if he even knows what's going on. Come on, on. Of Mankind. Of course he knows. But Mr. McMahon, he's now moments built. away from becoming the next champion. Are you serious? Oh well, <laughs> that can work. I'll get in there right now. Oh, that chair shot landed. There's two. Relentless with that steel chair. Great quickness being shown here. Are you shot me? No, the rock reverses. Let me get the steel chair. Oh, chair five oh my there god! Go. Chair landing again! Oh, well, there's no sportsman once again with the chair! That worked perfect. What an incredible suplex! A wicked neck breaker! There with the reversal. Ah, uh, he's biting. Got there. He's this. Not wrong on that one. And he unloads with everything he's got. Oh, too fast, my ass. Oh, seriously. Ah, uh, yeah, too fast, my butt. The rock my just butt. The momentum to swing his oh, that's some boring. Oh, come on. I've got a feeling that really Sue's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh, you crash body, that crash worked. Burning. That was ugly. Sometimes there you go. when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of getting it big. Right to the ground with the Russian leg sweep. The DJ one man, right on the Nice. Street. It's like I say, you give Mankind lemons, and he smashes them with your head. Wow, what a sequence. Yes. With DDT. That will work. Okay. Lift him up. Mm. Good Buster Connect. Good God. That'll rattle your insides. Oh. Get in there. Right on the table. On that table, not where you want to be. Rock headed to the top rope. Double drop yeah. on to the... Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Rock taking advantage. Just turn him inside. I mean, it's on a little bit. Here we go. Rock bottom. Rock has him up. It is inhuman at times the amount of punishment that mankind can withstand. It is inhuman, but you know what? Big Foley is the happiest guy in the WWE. He gets to be psychotic and get paid for it. And he's like, well, it's like he's got a father figure in Mr. McMahon. Well, speaking of family, so say that oh, The Rock's heritage, his grandfather, the oh, late Grand Chief Peter Maivia, was a fierce gladiator. Had a warrior's heart, no doubt about it. His father, Rocky Johnson, was a tag team champion. This kid's up. destiny is to become the referee will let them fight all over. 
do whatever they want to each other. We have to have a winner. Yeah, because Mr. McMahon guaranteed it. And that referee doesn't want to get fired by disappointing Mr. McMahon. And the official certainly is no stranger to controversy in the Survivor Series. Will controversy occur again this year? Third, 1998, Xbox vs. The Rock, San Jose, California. Eight days after Survivor Series, Mr. McMahon appointed a new WWE commissioner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. But Mr. McMahon.
Well, shock when Michaels first act as Commissioner forced The Rock into a WWE Championship match against Michaels' longtime friend X Pac. Then we watch them. right now. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? And he's a player. Florida, weighing 260 pounds. He is the WWE champion, The Rock. Well, I'll tell you what. Anytime I can see a WWE championship match, I'm for that. And doggone it, X-Pac deserves the opportunity whether he's Shawn Michaels' friend or not. You know, I don't think Mr. McMahon makes many mistakes, but I gotta go out on a limb here and say he made a mistake hiring Shawn Michaels as the commissioner of the WWE. Yep, here we go. We got The Rock defending his new crown WWF championship against the current European champion, x -Pac. So, can The Rock remain WWF champion, or will x -Pac become the new WWF champion? Only time will tell. Here we go. Rock versus x -Pac. WWF title. Let's do it. Well, it's time for the next match. There it is. That's what it's all about. The most coming surprise on all sports entertainment for WWF champions. That's what it's all about. WWF Championship on the line. Here we go. John Michaels has taken a seat right by us here. The championship is on the line. The corporate champion, The Rock, who's sold out on the people. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute King. He turned us back on the people. That's what he did. Well, just because he kisses a little butt, that doesn't mean he sold out. It's the smart thing to do. Corporate champion. Whoa, big body slam. Oh, man, what impact from that suplex. it takes to make that happen. My goodness! Mm. That kick almost took his head off. Bring it down. Corona! Oh man, what a neck breaker! Xbox taking advantage of the neck break. a basic but effective maneuver. What a counter by the rock. x pop quicker than a hiccup to get caught in that. Mm -hmm. And the rock counters it. And that's the first. x pop avoided that and made him pay. We're gonna try that again. There we go. Xbox, Boom! Look at the agility. Nice agility that time by, by Xbox. My goodness sakes. Xbox has it. Ouch! Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Then Jeff's hot. Going for the... Ah! Moonsault! Yes! Talk about the skies being the champion. I'm already at moderate. Yes. His ethics the may have been sold to the highest bidder. X Pop! X Pop will not give up. This kid has so much heart. Well, Val Venus! You gotta pin him. Let's go. There's a cover. Well, and that'll do it for this, for the great one for part four. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you like WWE 13 Attitude Era mode part number four, please go and give this a thumbs up. And please like you, please like this video and leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And also don't forget to tap that notification bell under the name Brandon Martin on YouTube out so you'll never miss an upload or live stream. And hashtag the road to 2K continues on from here. And I will see you guys in part 5 of W12, W13, excuse me, out to our mode, which will go on to the next door, will be this guy, Mankind. So we'll be back for that.